Black Ops 4 has had quite a bit of DLC, if we can call it that, or in another sense, microtransactions. To me, one of the only worthwhile things that I find out of these microtransactions are the camos, because we're playing a first-person shooter. To me, things like uniforms in a multiplayer setting don't have much value in a first-person perspective. Weapon adjustments do. And sure, we have things like death effects and a metric ton of weapon charms, but those things don't do it for me. The camos are what I find the value in. And we've had over the course of the last nearly 10 months, a decent number of them introduced, either static, reactive, or in Mastercraft form. Black Ops 4 isn't quite close to the Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Mastered levels of camos on offer though, but it could be worse. But curiously, there's actually a ton of camos the world probably has either forgotten about or may never have known about at all, and that's what I want to examine in today's video, the forgotten camos of Black Ops 4. Full disclosure, some of the information we discuss in this video will be done at face value. I haven't conferred with any developers or anyone internally to either confirm nor deny some of the themes brought up, but instead, some of what will be discussed is what was visible during pre-release footage of the game and that didn't quite make it into the full build. Some things we discuss could be spot on, others could be entirely off base, but it's important to note that it's at face value. Additionally, it's also important to know that a lot of these are more than likely bugged or incomplete and thus change the appearance of a similar camo that we see today in the game based off this being again a non-final build. The game was certified gold at this point, but that also doesn't mean perfect, just the build that was shipped out to be pressed to discs. This is why we have day one patches to ensure that everything is in the final and completed state, even if some of the things on a smaller scale, like seen in this video of the cosmetics, may need some polishing up after that period in which the game is sent off to be pressed to those discs. But anyways, let's talk about camos. At launch, we had camos for Black Ops 4 in multiplayer and in zombies. They worked a bit differently than they do now, in which we have mass through camos and dark matter for multiplayer, blackout, and zombies, but at launch, we only had dark matter and MP. Naturally, the game wasn't going to launch with a huge plethora of camos like we see now, and we didn't see our first real reactive camos introduced into the game or anything DLC-wise until Operation Absolute Zero. We saw the basis of how reactives worked at first, because at the time of launch, we did see the first entry into changing camos with gold, diamond, and dark matter variations, with gold having that purple lightning, the variations of colors leading up to rainbow diamond, and then the increasingly bright and thorned dark matter variations. Zombies didn't have any mass through camos, though, but only other performance and technical camos, and Blackout didn't have any camos yet at this point. We can see that we've come a long way since then, but curiously, we saw even more pre-launch. Before we had the master camos and zombies, before a single camo was added to Blackout, pre-launch of Black Ops 4 had a build that showcased camos for all of these modes, and more mastery camos that we saw at the time of launch. A week or so before launch, press had the opportunity to go out and get hands-on time and prepare content, in my case, or articles in the say the case of relative sites like IGN, for various Black Ops 4 topics. In that build that was playable in the customization sections, we had some final and some not so final or placeholder builds for camos in multiplayer, zombies, and blackout, which was why it was weird to see no mastery or no camos at all in the case of blackout come launch, because they were in there in the build pre-release and then hidden with the day one patch it seemed. But anyways, multiplayer and zombies had their performance and technical camos that came associated with them on day one. Completely escaping my memory until now, these performance and technicals actually were the same builds, same names, and everything alike. None of those had changed, though I had swore that I had seen a difference before, but alas, I had not, so my files remain unchanged. That must have been a little bit of that Mandela effect. But where we start to see some differences is in the blackout camos as well as the mash through camos. Probably the most curious in bulk is the blackout camos. Like we mentioned, blackout didn't launch with any camo support and truthfully, I have no idea if this ever would have come if the community hadn't asked for it. I don't know if there are any plans to initially launch blackout with any camo support and keep it going with or without camo support. I honestly can't imagine Blackout or any COD mode without camos at this point, simply because customization has become so ingrained into the player's experience, whether you partake in it or not. But the interesting part was that all the camos showcased in this build were all placeholder icons from Black Ops 3's Black Market camos. The icons contained exact copies of the placeholder files that were ties back to camos such as Timber, Inferno, Hallucination, and the entire bottom row was actually the same listing as it was in Black Ops 3 with Royal, Infrared, and Heat. 
Now, the camos that were displayed on the weapons, though, were different from what was actually on the camo icons, but an interesting fun fact. What we haven't seen entirely, though, were the camos that were on display of those weapons. The icons may have been different, but the camos actually on the weapons that showcased those were new, and in a lot of cases, we haven't seen any of them. We saw things that looked like, say, a blue animated ice camo that we'd never seen made its way into Black Ops 4. There are multiple variations of an almost zebra-like square pattern that we never saw come once, and among others. And sure, they weren't the best, but they also weren't color palette variations of existing camos like we see today. The camos for MP, Blackout, and Zombies are identical, save for some color swatch changes, but this would have been an added fresh look to the camo progression, especially in Blackout. It's interesting to me that we never saw any of these camos introduced into the game, even to this day. Perhaps the most interesting part to me, though, was the look of the mastery camos in the game at the time. What we know of now as Gold, Diamond, and Dark Matter were a bit different, not only in looks, but also in naming in one case. Let's start at the bottom though, Gold Camo. Gold looked a little bit different than it does now compared to that matte looking finish with the reactive variations of it, but in this pre-release build, Gold Camo looked a lot more liquid. I think the best comparison is probably to the Soul Eater Camo, the camo that came with a Titan Signature weapon in Operation First Strike, but a gold variation and without sharks on it. My immediate reaction, and I still remember it to this day, is that I looked at this and I thought that it looked like cheese. Not like cheese in the term of corny or dumb, but for whatever reason it felt like it looked like literal cheese to me. But you can see the difference no less when compared to what it is now. Diamond admittedly didn't change all that much. Along with a handful of weapons in the game, the canvas of the weaponry was changed, so it may cover more or less of the weapon you saw it on then compared to now, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Though one fun fact is that the camo requirements here were placeholders as well that didn't really hold too much weight but were just fun snippets of trivia. Unlike Gold where it's said to complete all the camo challenges for the weapon, Diamond and the subsequent Dark Matter level of camo also just said for their requirements, testing, testing, one, two, three. I don't imagine the overall vision for Diamond would have been different than what we see now that this could have been a hint towards something else, but kind of funny to me, no less. Let's jump over to Zombies Camos next, though, before going to Dark Matter, because this was one that was, again, a little bit more different in a few ways. For Zombies, we did see the Mastery Camos here as well as an MP, and these were different because they were not the same as what Multiplayer offered, or at least at the time. We wouldn't know it yet, but the Gold, Diamond, and Dark Matter in Zombies were actually different color takes of the 9 Pack-a-Punch Camo. The Mastery of 9 was in the game files and customizable for use on all weapons. You may remember back to a few YouTubers posting about this right as the embargo lifted for launch footage here of Black Ops 4, and people thought, oh dang, that's actually an awesome looking Mastery Camo. Camo. And truthfully, I honestly think that it would have been a really cool mastery camo, but we never saw it in the way of playable customization outside of 9's Pack-A-Punch. Personally, I said this before, I really wish that Black Ops 4 would have done something like this and kept it. I'm not a huge fan of just porting over Gold, Diamond, and Dark Matter as the mastery camos to other modes, because I feel like it takes away from a more natural and thematic tie to the mode. I pitched the idea ages ago, but I think that Blackout's mastery camo should have been something like the numbers uniform, but a camo variation of that. And sure, maybe zombies have something like this where it's a Pack-A-Punch sort of subtle variation or something that looks like a Pack-A-Punch camo equivalent, just so it would give each mode a more personal feel to the grind and pay his homage to that mode. But that's just me. Now, Dark Matter, the one we've been building up to, what's different about it and what does it look like? Well, what you're seeing on screen right now is actually what was the pre-release version or equivalent of Dark Matter. Now, of course, as you've probably seen by the footage already, the Gold, Diamond, and Dark Matter icons were placeholders from Black Ops 3, but the camos themselves were different. And this one surely looks way more different than what we see Dark Matter to look like now. And this actually, at the time, wasn't even named Dark Matter. It was its internal code name of Singularity, which I think would be a cool little take here on this and not a simple rehash of what Dark Matter ended up being. I think that honestly, if it would have been called Singularity, not that it really matters in the grand scheme of things, but I think that'd be a really cool name for that. So maybe you can bring that back for the next equivalent of that, whatever game is next, Treyarch. I think it'd be cool with that one but this one ended up being what i think is almost like a mix of say some of the extra camos that we saw within black ops 3 mixed with the base variation of dark matter and black ops 4 as we know it now so kind of like a little blended toss of maybe say into the void with dark matter base here in this where you see a little bit more blue it's a little more fluid than what we see of dark matter currently and thus we then have this now we didn't see at this point any of the phases of dark matter we didn't see that on gold or diamond either at that point 
but this was what we saw at the very base level and i think it looked really cool and i would love to see this one introduced as an extra camo or a community challenge camo because i can get behind this one and the final thing we'll talk about in terms of pre-release camos isn't necessarily a camo itself but instead what looked to be like again this coming at the face value of it a function that allowed you to stack paint jobs or camos or quick swap feature one of those things we never really got any explanation as to what it was and we naturally don't see it right now but on the left hand side of the camo selection you'd see that you have two selections that upon playing around with it you could stack a few things on top of each other seemingly allowing for another level of customization that could have been really cool again if we ended up seeing it go to that full production build and with a day one patch that gave us the final build of the game this is something that upon launch of the game and with again that footage that went live earlier than the actual game going live a couple of days earlier or whatever it was on the channel a lot of people pointed that out asking what that would be and even when we did some retrospective looks players were like what was that why didn't we ever see that and that's a great question that i kind of wish we could have saw how this would have played out but regardless we never got it and that's where we're at today so that's we're gonna wrap it up wanted to take a quick little look back at some of the forgotten camos and forgotten features of black ops 4 that seemingly were in here but never made it to again that full final level of black ops 4 and even almost a full year later we still have not seen to this day so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below are any of these camos that stood out to you are there any that you'd like to see come as a community contract or whatever it may be where we see some of these introduced in some capacity let me get your thoughts and feedback though but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things black ops 4 mp blackout zombies we got you covered the best of updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff so if any of that issue hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also follow me over on twitter and instagram there's the best place to get kind of outside of youtube probably live on both those so if you guys want to check out a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but let's end out with thank you guys all so much for watching my express i'll see you guys later take care and peace